button to review and demo for you here on my channel. These are the nail foils. It came with eight sheets and there are like swirlies and water marble patterns and fruit and leaves and Indian, I mean not Indian, dream catchers, flowers, unicorns, some geometric designs and I, they're just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I also have their nail foil glue. I had to put a sticker on it so I wouldn't think it was polish. It didn't have anything on the bottle. This is a 10 milliliter bottle of nail foil glue and it Okay, and then these eight pieces of the Nail Full Arts were eight pieces for $4.99. So I will leave a link for Beauty Big Bang down below, and you can go check out all of the products that they have to offer. And today I'm going to demo these for you. I've already got two little nails ready. I've got a red matte shimmery polish, and this is Zoya's um, Amal. And then I have this beautiful purple, and it is by Kiss Gel Strong. This is one of those Dollar Tree polishes, and this one is called Routine. So we're going to try a couple of these foils and the foil glue. I'm going to get it all together. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and I am ready to play. <laughs> I'm going to be using this nail foil glue. I did look the price up on this one. This one's $3.99 for a 10 milliliter bottle. And I've just cut out little strips of the foils, a couple of different ones to give us give us a, you know, give us some examples of what this looks like. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply this nail foil glue onto the nails and let it dry. And as you can see, it goes on white and it or milky white, and it will go clear when it's totally dry. Now, when you're doing this on your nails, you definitely want to make sure to cover all of the nail from side to side, top to bottom. Trying to get it even is what I'm trying to do here. All right, so that one is covered. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. I'm going to let them dry down, and then we're going to come back and put some foils on them. I'll be right back. All righty, I'm back, and as you can see, that's all clear now. started out all white. Now it's all clear, so that means it's ready. And you just take your foil, and you make sure you put the proper side facing down. Lay it on there. And I like to rub it with my finger first, just to make sure I'm getting it, you know, all stuck it down and then today I'm going to use this little cuticle pusher it's kind of a rubbery end I got this at Sally's and we're just gonna go over all of the design get, get that all you know rub down I love nail foils I think they're just gorgeous and hollow nail foils oh, please Some more with my finger. And this is much easier when you're doing it on your own nails than on a nail stand. Alrighty. And then we're going to peel it off. And it looks like I didn't let the polish dry long enough. Or maybe that in foil glue might have jimmied with it. I don't know. But still, it's very, very pretty. Very hollow. And we are going to top this one. You just need to top it with a water-based top coat. You can top it with another top coat later. But you, to avoid crinkling that foil, you're going to want to use a water base. I'm going to use the Revolution by Pitcher Polish on this one. And you can use any, and you can see it's kind of milky looking, maybe. You can see it, I don't know. But we're going to just apply that and let it totally dry before we apply a regular top coat. And this keeps the foil from crinkling all up. You don't want to ruin that beautiful hollow effect. But you could use this, or you could use um, the one that used to be called Dainty Digits, is now Baby Girl Lacquer. Um, you can use that one. It was called Glitter Be Gone. Or you could use Unt. 
you know, just any water-based, you know, water-based polish, clear polish would do. So we're going to let this totally dry, and then we'll come back and put some more top coat on it. Ready? I am back, and this one is dry and ready. So we're going to go ahead and apply the foil to it. And I'm just going to rub it with my finger and kind of use my fingernail to get it to stick to the nail glue. Trying to make sure to get all of it. Here in the corners and down in the other corners. And I'm going to just go on and remove this one without doing the other thing to it, just to show you you don't have to have a special tool. So look at that. It turned out gorgeous. So on this one, I'm going to apply the Unt. And this is the peel off base coat, but it is a water based product, so it works just great for doing nail foils. Okay, I've got the Unt off water-based peel-off base coat on this one. So I'm going to set it aside and let it dry. I'm going to close this up. And then we're going to apply some Sheche Feet over the red one that has already been covered in the Revolution by Pitcher Polish. And we're going to Put a regular, oops, Miss Tina's getting all messy. I put a regular coat of base coat on it. And seal it in. And there we go. Look how beautiful. Well, except for the places that were smudged because of me. <laughs> And I'm going to let this other purple one dry, and I'll be right back and put some top coat on. Alrighty, I am back, and that bling is just freaking the camera out. So let me see if I can back it up just a little bit and see if it'll act right. But it is so hollow. So today I'm going to top this one off. I'm going to change things up. I used Shush on the other one, and I'm going to use Pure Ice's Girl on the Run top coat over this purple one. Just to show you, you know, you don't have to use the exact same products I'm using all the time. You can use what you have. So there we go. Got this one all sealed in. There we go. It's just beautiful. I am absolutely in love with these foils. They're just gorgeous. Uh, they're so blingtastic. Let me dim some lights and see if we can get maybe some looks of the rainbows and the unicorns on this one. So there we go. So there you have it. The nail foils and the foil glues are all to done. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about these products. I want to thank Beauty Big Bang for sending me these products for review. And I would also like to thank my friend that sent me these cute little holders that, you know, hold the nails so that I can demo things when I already had on a manicure I don't want to take off. So, I will leave links to these products down below. I will hope you go check out some Beauty Big Bang. And um, if you do buy from them, let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you. That is all I have for today. So, until next time... Be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.